Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to another build video. Today we will be building a gaming PC for $500. For this money, you could either buy a console or build yourself an awesome gaming PC. If you bought an Xbox One or a PS4, you may feel guilty after watching this video. Just saying. To start off, let's take a look at some games running on the $500 PC. First we have Battlefield 4, one of my favorite games of this year. Here we are able to run it on high at well over 60 frames per second. Tomb Raider is one of my favorite games of the year, great story, mechanics, and as it is, running on a PC, great graphics. And here we are able to run it on ultra at over 40 frames per second. Next we have Crisis 3, one of the most demanding games that looks absolutely fantastic even when run on low settings. However, with this PC we can run it on high at well over 60 frames per second. So without any further ado, let's get the build up with the processor. For our processor, I went with an AMD Athlon X4760K. This processor is perfect for the build as it is of course a quad core processor with 4 actual physical cores and a 4.1GHz clock speed which is great considering this is a $500 build. Also keep in mind that this is a K-series processor which means it can be highly overclocked. As it is, this processor is a great deal for about $80. For our motherboard, we will be using a Gigabyte F2 A55 M2 HD2. This is a great motherboard especially for the price. It has decent overclocking capability along with all the other bells and whistles like UEFI BIOS, Gigabyte Salta Durable 4 and Auto Wilson you also have all your 3's cover with support for USB 3 and SATA 3. This motherboard also supports the newly released Kaveri APUs. So you have an option to upgrade your processor in the future if you feel the need. This motherboard is priced only around $50. For our graphics card, we'll be using a MSI R7 260X. AMD as you probably know released a new R9 and R7 series of graphic cards. Their R7 260X offers great value which you're probably looking for if you're building a $500 gaming PC. This card can play most games like Battlefield 4, Bioshock Infinite and Arma 3 on high at 1080p as the benchmarks will be showing now. This card will set you back around $150. For our memory, we'll be using two 4 gb sticks of Aerata XP GV2 1600 MHz RAM. If you have been watching my recent videos, you know that I'll absolutely love this RAM. For starters, this RAM is rated to run at 1600 MHz which is easily overclockable thanks to its huge heatsink. I went with two 4 gig sticks as I felt that 8 gig is gonna be the standard for the next few years and thus there won't be any need to upgrade. So I was willing to trade upgradability for performance. As of course dual channel memory performs better than single channel. But if you would like to have the option to upgrade a RAM in the future, you could go with a single 8 gig stick of this RAM. Anyways, both of them will run you about $75. For our hard drive, we are going to be using a 1TB Seagate Barracuda. Hard drives definitely are the most exciting things to talk about. However, the Seagate Barracuda is a very solid hard drive. On top of that, you are getting 1TB of capacity, which is going to be plenty for your games and movies. And it is also decently fast, but of course not anywhere near the speeds of SSD. But it of course costs way less than a 1TB SSD. And also speed doesn't matter much for games. This hard drive will run us about $55. For our power supply, we are going to be using a EBGA 500W 80 plus bonds certified power supply. This is a very solid power supply as it is of course 500 watts, which is plenty for this build even with a few upgrades. Also it is 80 plus bond certified, which means you can save some money on your power bill. And most importantly, this is a reliable power supply. If you cheap out here, you are going to a cost huge damage to the rest of your system. All this for only about $50. For our case, we are going to be using the Silverstone PS08P. This is of course a micro ATX case, which is a good thing in my opinion as you will get a lot less weight and bulk on your desk. Also this case is decently built for the price. It also comes with a 120mm fan included in the front which has dust filters which is good to see in a budget case. And it also has two USB 3.0 ports in the front. This case will set us back about $35. Also this case is available in black and white versions. So there you go. 
everything you need to build yourself an awesome $500 gaming PC. As always, prices are constantly changing. So I'll have links to all the parts that I mentioned in the description right below the like button. Also, I want to give a big shout out to my friend and fellow YouTuber, JTech. Make sure to go and check him out. He makes great build videos. That's it for this video guys. Hope you liked it. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. And comment if you are somewhere in between. And as always, peace.